بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد. I would like to take these few moments, inshallah, to address our brothers and our sisters who are newly reverted to the religion of Al Islam. Many things can be said to the newly reverted Muslim man or Muslim woman, regardless of what your age is, regardless of what your status is in terms of working or not working, your educational background, social background, whatever the case may be, you have to understand that you're not the first one to tread this path, that there are people who are around you who have also treaded the path of being new Muslims, embracing the religion and trying to go on the journey of finding their way. As a matter of fact, I think once a person becomes a Muslim, he's in a perpetual journey to continue to get better and better, to let the next day be better than the previous day, the next week be better than the previous week, the next month better than the previous month, and so forth and so on. first thing that I would like to advise and to bring to your attention is something that's really important and I believe is something that the new revert is unique in this and he should continuously make jihad to keep it this way to the best of his ability because as time goes on and you develop in your religion it's very easy to begin to forget about the simple things that used to inspire you, the simple things that you used to work towards. So I hope that this particular thing that I'm going to bring to the table right now will be something that you'll always remember. And that's it's what I want to talk to you about today. And that is what the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, about the new revert. He said, Al Islam yujibbu ma kana qabluhu. Al Islam wipes away whatever went before it. Meaning, Irregardless of the crime, the mistakes, the sins that an individual was committing before Al-Islam, when he comes into this religion, the shahada that he pronounces in order to become a Muslim, it is a kerima or word that wipes away all of his or her previous sins. So the new revert is like a newborn baby. The reason why the Prophet said this hadith, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is because one of his companions by the name of Amr ibn al-As, he was a tremendous personality in Jahiliya, and he was very sad at the fact that he committed a lot of mistakes and indiscretions in Jahiliya against Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and against the companions, ridwanullahi alayhim. So, he said, Ya Rasulullah. He said, Ya Rasulullah. He wasn't even a Muslim yet. He was about to become a Muslim. He said, Ya Rasulullah. I did a lot of wrong. So I want to become a Muslim, but I want to make it conditional. Under the condition that Allah forgives me for all of what I did. So the Prophet said to the man, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Did you not know that Al Islam wipes away what went before it? So the point here is since a new Muslim is like a newborn child, he has to do his level best in trying to keep sins off of his slate. So I'll give you an example. If a person comes into Al-Islam as a Muslim who's been on the deen for some time, I have to be gentle, I have to be easy, I have to be non-judgmental towards him or towards her. For an example, the person may be doing something that they've been doing for a long time that goes against Islam like smoking cigarettes you may have a partner or something like that so we're going to be gentle and we're going to take it easy but the revert has to say to himself once he finds out that something is haram it's not permissible he or she has to make a perpetual jihad to try their best to keep their slate as clean as possible because once you start taking this issue for granted that's when sins start to become small and insignificant in your eyes. And it happens to most people. You get used to being a Muslim, you get used to the struggle of being a Muslim, and you don't you begin not to put a lot of emphasis on 
I am in a unique situation. And that unique situation is, unlike many of the people who are around me, I don't have a lot of sins. From the day that I embraced Islam until the particular day where you are right now, your sins are not going to be like the person who's been a Muslim since 1980, for an example, or even last year. So my first form of advice that I want to bring to your attention is the need for each and every individual in Al-Islam to do what is known as Al-Muhasaba. Al-Muhasaba is when you take your own self and your deeds and you reckon them. Like Umar used to say. Umar used to say to the people, weigh your own deeds and consider your own deeds before they are weighed for you. Before they are considered for you. Meaning, once you die, you're not in a position to weigh your deeds. They're going to be weighed for you. They're going to be considered for you. Yom Al-Qiyamah comes, uh, you won't be in a position to weigh your own deeds. So a person has to say at the end of the day, what did I put forth today in terms of good? And then tomorrow you try to be better than that. What did I put forth today in terms of mistakes? And you make toba for those mistakes and tomorrow you want to be better than that. So this is the point that we make Al-Muhasaba. That we look at our deeds and we look at ourselves and do your best to keep your slate clean. Keep your slate clean by staying away from those things that Allah has made haram for you. Especially those things that you know they are contradictory to the religion of Al-Islam. And our tawfiq is only with Allah. Hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in.